Hey guys, Bugcat7 here. Okay, it is Friday, August 28th, 2020, and I want to thank you for visiting the Stonewall Research channel here on YouTube. I really do appreciate it. All right, guys. Well, I've been gone for a little while because I started a new job. My situation has changed. I have no permanent place where I live, and I sort of drift around and everything, and I have very limited internet time anymore, but with my new job, it may afford me some more time to spend on making videos, etc., in a quiet place where I won't be disturbed, etc., etc., so... <clears throat> Unfortunately, unlike my old place where I used to work, where I had access to the facilities there after hours, um, here, unfortunately, I have to do these videos outdoors. So if you please forgive all the outdoor noises and everything, just part of how I have to do this now, that's all. And uh, hopefully my situation will change in the future somewhat, but, you know, this whole sea crisis thing, screwed me up royally and uh you know just trying to pick up the pieces if you know what i mean so in any case um hopefully we'll do some more videos in the future and uh you know more than i have been doing in the past several months so that will be a very good thing because i just have i could do a video every night if uh, i had the ability to do that because i just have so much material saved here that i'd love to discuss on my channel so but let's get to what this video is about and it's really about Brian Forster's new video which I just watched he only put it out like uh, 15 hours ago here and uh, I'll have to give it a like because I like it you know Brian Forster and I have gone at it a couple of times because he shows one time this little cockamamie museum down there in Peru where they house an elongated skull there. And right adjacent to the elongated skull is a sort of statuette relief um, reconstruction of the head of the remains there. And it's an alien head. So in any case, and if you're a follower on my channel, subscribe. You know how I feel about UFOs and everything. I don't want to get into it now, but no aliens involved in what I believe is. So anyway, there's an alien head there. So I said, you know, I had to go back and forth with Brian about it. But, you know, he knows me. We've talked any number of times by a number of things, you know, more positive things, obviously. But... In any case, he did this video, Surprise Finding of Ancient Megalithic Aspects at Hattusa in Turkey, and um, it's very interesting here, as it is in many places around the world, where it seems evidence of, and it uh, seems that there was a much older civilization that built these, you know, made these constructions, um, engineered these buildings and whatnot with this sort of polygonal um, megalithic stonework there, as it is in many cases around the world, and then you see the thing is, you know, built with this sort of primitive stuff, far inferior in craftsmanship to the old work, and it's clear that two different civilizations occupied this site, even though the mainstream says there's only one, and, you know, just, this is just the style of their work, you know, the combination of the two, it's all nonsense, of course, there was here, like many other places around the world, including the Americas, including with the Inca, including with the Mayans as well, a few people have known this, but I've gone over it on my channel with the Maya, uh, Mayan Rio Beck style, which is a bunch of nonsense. The Mayans found us, the deeper they dig down at all of the Mayan sites, they come across much finer stonework much more precisely engineered stonework. So it's as you go further back in time, these things seem to improve in craftsmanship. But as you go on forward in time, it seems to devolve into, you know, the people, they got stupid or whatever it is. But that's not what happened at all. It's just an interim of, it, of you know, between these civilizations where nobody occupied these sites. It could have been for thousands of years for all we know. Okay, stone lasts a very long time. It doesn't all degrade, especially very hard stone. So, in any case, um, you know, it's just, it's just another one of those places, this place in Turkey, Hattusa in Turkey, where they claim that the Hittites, who are, you know, a, a race of people, 
from the ancient past, around 1600 BC, they say here, but they're all their times are screwed up. They don't know, but the layering, the geological layering around the earth is all screwed up. You have to really know it like a puzzle. So in any case, uh, Brian Foster did this video, and you know, he mentions all these things in this video, but that's not what's nearly surprising. There's a lot of tubular hole drillings there, like just like you would find in Peru. It's a very interesting site, obviously stone carving and whatnot, but what I found immediately was which popped out at me. I don't know if, you know, Brian doesn't mention in the video. Of course, he doesn't know of the work by Andrew, um, my buddy Andrew, at Ancient History Criticisms on the Bevel Block and the Nubs, okay, that um, we, uh, that Andrew investigates. He's just commenting back to me here. I was going back. I was saying, take a look at Hattusa. I don't know if he covered it on channel. There's a lot of material there. I might have missed it when I went to the bathroom or something like that, but I don't think he covered it at Hattusa. And it's quite clear to me here that there's bevel block here. And I think this site is much, much older than they attributed to the dating there. And the Hittite civilization was this later civilization and this megalithic one, obviously, as Brian Forster has, you know, his thoughts are in the same sort of vein. That, you know, these, this civilization, you know, the original civilization goes much, much further back in time. So, he's showing the site here, and as he goes through it here, I'm just going to play it here, but as we go through it here, you can see bevel block just occurring everywhere. It's just some clear indications. I wrote all these different indications down. You can see the beveling. You know, whether it's just part of the construction technique here, you see bevel there, bevels here, you know, the stuff is beveled. And I'm just wondering if this is a particularly old um, uh, being that it might be, a, a, you know, a very, see, it's very pronounced here. I'm just watching again because I'm fascinated by it. I'm catching all these bevels. In there, and I don't think Brian Forster mentions it once, but it's clear that these stones or these giant blocks, these megalithic blocks, are all beveled. And it's, you know, I think, you know, far above a lot of the stuff that even Andrew's shown from Turkey here, even some of the sites uh, at Eflaton Pinar, which is, they say right here, the site remains largely unexplored today. Why? Why is that? They, they, they something they don't want to see there. But in any case, at Hattusha here, it, it seems that we have a lot of bevel block. And here's the core drillings and all that sort of stuff. Hole drillings, whether that was for to you know let air through these buildings or communication devices or to pull wire through or whatever you know wires being made out of metal could have disintegrated over time who knows how many thousands of years old these original sites were it seems like a type of concrete when you show it there goes the train so it's just a very interesting video so in any case <clears throat> i'm watching the video and, and looking at all this bevel block, I let Andrew know about it, but it seems to me like he needs to do a more in-depth investigation here, because this could quite possibly be one of the oldest, you know, sites where bevel block occurs. It may be even one of the first sites where um, bevel block occurs. So... And, uh, you know, everything attributed to more later dates, even now we can see that uh, Andrew is shown on his channel. But I don't know, he might have shown it to you, I don't know. I brought it to his attention, I'll look at his comment later here, see what he says. But it's clear to me that, you know, just bevel block going on everywhere over here, and it's like highly pronounced in some areas. I mean, you can clearly see it. Like here, for example, I mean, is, you know, how much clearer can you get? So, 
There's bevel blocks here at Hattusa. that you see over here. You know, in here. Seems like all these blocks of stone sort of have been beveled. Some of them obviously worn. The thing was ripped apart by a earthquake or two and then put back together. All these puzzle pieces here probably put back the wrong way. They didn't know how to put them back. But you see the primitive work here and then you see the far superior. There's some bevels in there. Okay, so, and this type of stone here looks like a type of concrete to me. So, just saying, you know, people, no, it's natural rock, is it? You know, and maybe these people knew how to mix up what we call natural rock. Maybe all the places where we find this quote unquote natural rock isn't natural at all. It's just huge mounds of this stuff mixed up, you know, in a, on a planet that we don't know anything about in the past so with all these different civilizations from the past with unknown peoples that we you know we're just learning about now and could quite possibly be people of much larger stature as i believe and talk about on my channel seems like these people were sort of the royalty and rulers of the ancient past and you know the average size people like us were you know either their companions or slaves or workers or whatever and i don't know but not to get into that so much but i just wanted to show these i don't know if anybody else has ever noticed it that handles uh, you know research with the bevel blocks or anything but you can certainly see the bevels here and all of these stones here at Hattusa, they're real easy to see. And, you know, maybe the oldest occurrence of beveling on block anywhere in the world, or one of the oldest, because who knows when this civilization of these unknown people just forget about the Hittites you know that's those are people who stumbled on it much later on so that's what the video is about Fox I just want to bring that to everybody's attention that these uh, megalithic blocks of stone you can find here at Hattusa that Brian Forster is showing over here are all bevel as far as I can see and it goes right along with the, much of the beveled uh, stonework that you'll see in Turkey that you can see right here on Andrew's channel. He goes over it in quite a few videos of uh, these bevel blocks and nubs occurring in Turkey. And uh, I think it was Ziggy Dan who turned on... Uh, Andrew to Eflatoon Pinar, but, and Siggy Dan's got his own channel, which is his own great, well-produced videos. Andrew's are really excellent, and so are Ziggy's, so, if you want to see more about Bevel Block and Turkey, certainly go to Andrew's channel there, and just watch all his, and everywhere else, that, for that matter, and on the nubs as well. So, any case, guys, I just wanted to point this out, and uh, just a short video here, and, you know, just another thing to consider, um, all these um, ancient megalithic sites with uh, polygonal stone work in them, and all these other features that seem so very similar, and... Uh, this notion that the people that mainstream attributes these uh, constructions to and these uh, very well engineered and precisely cut stone block constructions to are just all wrong, folks. It's all a fantasy that they made up in their heads, okay? Because they're not looking into it deeper for whatever reasons, who knows why the non-human entities are keeping that from us. And, you know, we're never going to figure out where we're going to, folks, if we can't know where we've come from. We've got to know that first, okay? You can't know where you're going to if you don't know where you're going, coming from. So, let's take a look, a more rational look, apart from, you know, aliens and angels and any other sort of fantastic um, creatures, uh, 
building these things and maybe just a whole different picture of the past that that reckons more likely to a Tolkien-esque type past that we can imagine with a lot of little people and big people and people with all kinds of physical features, you know, hominid type creatures and whatnot. And our past is more fantastic than anybody's ever written about. And if you've ever imagined it at all, it's because you listen to me on this channel because that's, it goes far beyond angels and aliens and everything more fantastic than you can possibly imagine than what's been described by anybody ever. All right, guys. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button. And if you are not a subscriber, please do hit that subscribe button and the bell. I'm going to be coming out with my series on the Giants going international now. So I'm going to continue with the series on the Giants. And we're just going to go international now. So that should be fascinating. And I can do these videos for... Um, any length of time necessary to uh, complete our investigations, all right? So, anyway, guys, Bugcat7 signing out. Peace.